Hello kitties and friends! We are back again with another video. And for today's video, I will show you guys on what it is like to have a really strong character. I will share to you the build, skill sets, costumes, mounts, companions, and wings plume of this character. But before we start, a special mention to a good friend of mine, Dark Ryo, for allowing me to borrow his account and share to you guys his overall progress. He is really cool and an awesome guy. Also, a quick shout out to Big D and also to Lexus from Discord. Lastly, a huge thanks to all of you guys who supported my channel. It really means a lot to me. If you find my video fun and interesting, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell to keep updated with my videos. Thank you so much guys! Now going back to Ryo's character. This character is currently the top 1 rank in power rankings on server 63. This character is a disciplined knight class. So first, let's take a look at his item build. For his item build, he is currently using sharp for the weapon. 4 pieces rapid and 2 pieces perseverance on the armor set and pursuit set for the accessory set. If we look at his archangel weapons, he currently has 5 angel weapons unlocked. The archangel set which is both upgraded up to 3 stars. The fallen angel set having 3 stars on the spear and 2 stars on the shield. The Seraph set, which is both on two stars. The Battle Angel set, which is also both in two stars. And lastly, the Holy Angel set, which is both in one star. Now that we saw his angel weapons, of course let's take a look at the angel costumes. For his angel costumes, he has four angel costumes unlocked. The Dragon Kin set, Monarch set, Demonic set, and Angel set. In addition to it, he also has a complete set of costumes for Desert Overlord and Child of Nature. Just by looking at this, it really gives me a chill on how much damage he gains from all of this. Furthermore, as you can see, these are the remaining Angel sets that he hasn't unlocked yet. The Hellish Set, Dimensional Set, and the Mutated Set. He also hasn't unlocked the Wasteland Set, which I think is a pretty cool costume. Moving on to the other costumes. These are the headwear costumes he has unlocked. He has quite a lot of headwear costumes. And these are the unlocked chest piece costumes. And these are the unlocked costumes for the leg guards. For the weaponry, it's the same as the unlocked angel weapons he has. There are new weapon costumes that were added. These costumes were not yet there when I first uploaded a video for the upcoming costumes. For the wings, he has unlocked quite a lot also. But my favorite out of all these wings is this one, the Sword Spirit. Aside from this wing having a unique costume skill, it has a unique idol, flying, and speed boost animation. This is what it looks like. This is the idol animation. And this is the flying animation. And this is the speed boost animation. Pretty cool, right? This is the best wing interaction I have seen so far. Going back to the costumes, these are the artifacts he has. And these are the newly added star rings. I also like this one, 
it adds more ambience to your character. Since his character is a paladin, it is best to see his acquired mounts. This class has an interaction with how many orange mounts you have. The more orange mounts you have, the more beneficial stats you can gain from it. On his mount, he is currently equipping the Hell Scorpion. This is a really fast moving terrestrial mount. I also liked it. Speaking of mounts, they have a feature that is still not on Asia server. It is called the Riding Suit. Basically, it is an equipment that you will use in riding a horse. The parts of the riding suit consist of a necklace, saddle, hoof, horse step, rein, and whip. These items have an excellent set affix just like our current item sets. It adds additional stats like block chance, evasion adjustment, and HP bonuses. I will still look more into it and will give you guys more details about this one. So now, I think it's best to show you the skill build on this class. Let's first take a look at the skill build for PvE. Now if you are planning to change class into Paladin, I have a tip that I can share with you about this class. For PvE, this class is really amazing, especially if you play around the Soul Knight skill. This is the skill build I suggest you go for PvE. On the first slot is Soul Knight, followed by Hurricane Stab, Jail of Lances, Discipline Dance, and Discipline Shield. The focus of this skill set is to get the uptime of the Soul Knight more often and as fast as possible. As you can see, the cooldown of the Soul Knight is 25 seconds, but with this skill set, you can use it more often. This class has a passive talent that reduces the 2 seconds cooldown of Soul Knight every time a skill is cast within the time frame of 6 seconds. The cooldown reduction takes effect if your Knight Poise is still active. Beyond that, it will no longer reduce the cooldown of Soul Knight even if you cast a skill, so always remember that. To do this, we should abuse the low cooldown of the Hurricane Stab and select the skills that doesn't have a long attack animation. Now this is what it looks like in action. Watch how the cooldown of the Soul Knight reduces every time we cast a skill. Moving on to the PvP skills. For the skill set, Whirl Impale on the first slot, followed by Lance Dance, Discipline Lance, Jail of Lance, and Soul Knight. Since we are equipping Pursuit as the accessory set, this skill set provides the slows that we need in order to trigger the bonus damage of this set. This skill set is a mix of minor crowd control, which is slow and silence, and a chance to stun from our Soul Knight skill. Sadly, for PvP, we cannot abuse the cooldown reduction of the Soul Knight since the skills we currently use have long cooldowns and longer animations. For the skill Ultimates, on Hurricane Stab, you have to select the cooldown. You must use this in order to use this ability more often. This is our main skill that can reduce the cooldown of our Soul Knight PvE build. On Jail of Lances, he is using Damage Increase for PvE and Slow for PvP. On Lance Dance, he is using Reduce Attack for PvP. On Whirl Impale, he is using Stun for PvP. On Discipline Dance, he is using Attack for PvE. On Discipline Lance, he is using Silence for PvP. On Discipline Shield, he is using Justice for PvE. And lastly, for Soul Knight, he is using Brave for PvE and Immovable for PvP. As for the talents, he can basically unlock all talents. But here are the ones he unlocked. He unlocks the skill evolutions of the skills he is currently using. You can take a look and have a pause 
if you want to know which one he unlocked. For the companions, once you reach Prestige 9, you can unlock the third defense of the companions. On his first defense, he is using the Amazement Bond having Heaven Scorch as the deployed companion. On the second defense, he uses the Dragon Guard Bond having Light Dragon as the deployed companion. And lastly, on the third defense, he uses two pairs of bonds here, which are the Good and Evil and the Chill Realm, which both give attack bonus. On this defense, he is using the Son of Titan as the deployed companion. For the skills of his companions, he is using Slow for the deployed companions, which is really ideal since he is using Pursuit accessories. As for the guarding companions, some of them are using resistance. You also have to be mindful that when choosing this skill, you have to see to it that this skill is for guarding or deployed companions. If you equip a guarding skill on the deployed companion, it will not take effect. The same goes with the guarding companion equipping a skill that is for a deployed companion. I will make a separate video on this explaining more about the skills for the companions. Moving on to the Wings Plume, he is using the Advanced Sword of Justice on the first wing set. Advanced Concentration will be on the second wing set. Evolved Abyss of Anguish on the third wing set. Advanced Control Resist on the fourth wing set. Advanced Pursuit Bestowment on the fifth wing set. Advanced Pursuit Trap on the sixth wing set. Advanced Tactical Strike on the 7th Wing Set And lastly, Advanced Lucky Strike on the 8th Wing Set So this is the overview of the stats he has for the overall plumes on his Wing Set Last but not the least is the Demon Soul Once you reach Master Level, you can now unlock the second page of Demon Soul Defense He's using Golden Infernus on the first defense and Dark Blood Werewolf on the second defense so that's it guys, it's really an honor to experience using a powerful character. I cannot really imagine how much effort and dedication he had put into his character. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video.